All right, so I know that this is a topic that um, gets asked about a lot, and it is what calculator should I use for the fundamentals of engineering exam? And I wanted to go over two of the calculators that I use during my studies for the exam. So if you go to the NCEES website, it's got a list of approved calculators, and this is going to be checked on your way in. You know, you... You have to put everything in a basket, everything gets locked up, got to empty your pockets, all that. And they're going to check your calculator. So you want to definitely make sure that not only on test day are you bringing a, an approved calculator, but you also want to make sure that this is a calculator that you're practicing with. It's very important because you need to know this calculator very well. You can't have a case where you don't know where the square root button is because oh, I just bought this calculator for the exam and I didn't even use it. Now i got to waste valuable exam time looking for simple functions on the calculator. You can't have that. So make sure that you're using it for practice and make sure that you've used every feature that's likely to come up at least once. Ideally, you want to use it more than once because you want to make sure you know exactly where everything is on this calculator. So moving on into the two calculators that I use during my studies, this is the first one. It's Casio FX115ES+. Plus. It was very cheap. It was $16. Not a bad calculator overall. Um, I used this for probably, I don't know, I used it for maybe a week. It just was not my cup of tea. I was used to using my TI-89 all through college, so I, I needed something a little closer to what I was used to using. So initially I had this and I just, it just, I felt like it wasn't working and I was like, man, I just like, I learned this whole new calculator. So I think for some people they may find, you know, it's got all the functionality they need. That's great. It didn't work for me. So what I ended up getting was the Texas Instruments TI-36X Pro. This one, I mean, it's basically the same price, just a couple bucks more. And I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but it was definitely better for me. I mean, this calculator it was very similar to the TI-89 that I was so used to. So it was just very natural to, for the buttons to be exactly where my mind was expecting them to be when I needed to go use something. So I ended up um, practicing with this one for the remainder of my study time. And this calculator actually ended up being really good for the exam. Um, I really liked this calculator a lot. Um, I actually use this one at work now because I just I got so used to using it. So really good calculator. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, personally, I prefer this over the Casio. Um, but to each zone, I think that you'll just have to see what works for you. I do think that if you're already used to using um, a TI calculator, that this one is going to just come more naturally to you in using it. So the reason I chose that these two calculators to go over is because these are the two that I saw a lot of videos on. I think these are the two most common two calculators that people use for the FE. So, you know, if you've got another one that you want to check out, by all means, just make sure it's on the approved list.